Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. We're here with another Throne of Eldraine deck tech video. So these are some brews that I'll be trying to play uh, in the first few days of the new standard. Um, so this one here is a theory crafted deck. It is a Saltai reanimator deck. Um, basically, reanimator refers to putting self milling creatures into your graveyard and then bringing them back at a reduced rate. Um, so I've been posting a bunch of lists on my Aether Hub account. I'm going to try to do as many of these visual uh, deck tech videos as possible, but if I can't get to all of them, I'll just be posting the deck techs themselves. Sorry, the uh, deck lists themselves on aetherhub.com. Just look up uh, mtg underscore joe. Uh, anything with the ELD uh, tag will be uh, for Throne of Eldraine. Um, but going to the deck itself, uh, so what we want to do with this deck is get stuff into our graveyard and then get it out at a cheaper price. So the way we put stuff into our graveyard, we have three main ways. We have Glow Spore Shaman. Uh, so when it enters the battlefield, you mill three, and in a pinch we can put a land back on top, so it helps set up that way. Gorging Vultures puts four cards into our library. We gain a life for each creature going this way. We're pretty heavy in creatures, so it's an easy way to self-mill. And then Tombound Lynch, uh, when it enters the battlefield, or it deals damage, you get to loot. Uh, so those are the ways we get cards into our graveyard from creature base. We also have Tamio, which can also uh, name a card and then self-mill. You could also just name a card you don't have in your deck, mill it that way. Uh, then the piecing together the rest of the deck, we have three Murderous Riders, uh, just a very good card. Uh, removal, uh, good body in itself uh, for lifelink, and when it dies, you put it back on the bottom of your library, so it's a way to recycle. Uh, Playcrafter is a way that we can get stuff into our graveyard, force the opponent to sack, and then bring it back. Uh, Blood for Bones is one of our reanimation spells. So we have uh, sack a creature, we get to bring a creature to the back to the battlefield and one to the hand. So we can say get back an agent of treachery to the battlefield and then put another self mill option into our hand to recast. Uh, we got Golgari, uh, Vraska Golgari Queen. I always say this backwards. Uh, but Vraska's good removal, minus three deals with all the three mana planeswalkers, early aggression. It's another way for us to put stuff back into our graveyard uh, to get back into play. And its emblem can win the game on its own. Uh, so now getting to the part where... Uh, actually, I'll highlight these cards first and then we'll go to the stuff we are trying to reanimate. Uh, so two connive, conni conni cocked. Uh, the connive's usually not as relevant, gaining control of target creature with power two or less. It's really the concoct portion. So it's a five mana, surveil three, to put stuff into our graveyard, and then return a card to our our library and a card I'm really excited for is something I want to try out. So this is Cauldron of the Eternity, a uh, Cauldron of Eternity. Uh, so this spell costs two less for each creature in our graveyard. So we're naturally putting stuff into our graveyard. Uh, whenever a creature dies, it goes to the bottom of our library. So it's kind of a non-bow that it does go back in, but it does prevent us from self milling out. And then for three mana, paying two life, we can uh, reanimate a creature from our graveyard to the battlefield. So really, what we're trying to get out and cheat out, Cavalier of Night. Uh, so Cavalier comes in, you could sack a, a smaller thing uh, and kill a creature. When it dies, we get to bring back a creature from our graveyard to the battlefield. So it works out nicely. Say we want to reset our Murderous Rider, put it back in our library for removal, or get back some... When it dies, we can get back any of our self-mill creatures. Uh, four of Agent of Treacheries. This is one of the better cards to reanimate, steal your opponent's best thing. Go from there, and eventually if we steal enough, we draw some cards. And then three Lotless Giants. Uh, Lotless Giant basically is burn uh, in this deck. So when it enters the battlefield, deals one damage to target opponent for each creature in our graveyard. So you could kind of kill Lot, like bring reanimate a Lotless Giant, kill it with Vraska, and then if you have Eternity, the Cauldron out, you could bring it back and then just kind of combo kill your opponent. Mana base wise, all the duels. Uh, so all the, the shock lands, we have eight scry lands in this deck which helps set up our draw. And then I'm playing one castle lock length. If we do run out of cards in hand, it's a way for us to draw another card. Um, sideboard wise, so as I've been kind of saying with the sideboard, sideboards are usually tailored for what you're playing against. So going into the dark, these are kind of my best assumptions based on some of the cards I'm seeing. Uh, dress for any sort of control matchup uh, or mid-range mirrors that are more on the spell-based plan. Uh, Necrotic Wound is basically a one-mana removal spell with Exile in our deck. Uh, because we have so many creatures going to the graveyard, this can deal with anything indestructible or recursive threats. 
Um, Assassin's Trophy is catch-all removal. This is one of the better removal spells in the format. Uh, Noxious Grasp versus all the green things and the white things, but may mainly I think like Stompy decks, like green based Stompy is going to be quite prevalent the first few times. Um, Questing Beast was kind of just a throw in. It's good versus Planeswalker decks, it's an aggressive threat. Uh, just in the mid range mirrors, it might be enough to kind of break parity there. Uh, Massacre Girl versus kind of aggro y decks. Uh, two Crawl Har uh, Foragers, this is something we could reanimate as well. Uh, it gains us life for each creature in our graveyard, so they could kind of keep us going for the mid game. And then uh, two Garrick, Cursed Huntsman. Uh, I'm going to bring this in, in my mind against control decks or against mid range mirrors. Uh, the ability to kill a creature, draw a card, or just create wolves and keep Garrick going. And then the permanent overrun effect is quite relevant in a deck full of creatures. Um, so it's pretty much the deck. Um, with reanimators, it's kind of your choice what you want to reanimate. Um, you could do like Vicus, I think it's called, the, the big demon that whenever you lose life, you could get it back, uh, draw cards. Your top end is really what you want to play. I like the Agent of Treachery route because you can screw with your opponent's mana base. You can take their best threat. And I like Lotlith Giant because it's a quick way to close out the game, uh, if, especially if we do incidental damage in the early game. So that's pretty much the list. Let me know what you think. If there are any other decks you're interested in seeing, uh, drop a comment in the video down below. And finally, if you are purchasing physical cards for this upcoming release of Throne of Eldraine from TCG Player, I do have an affiliate link uh, in the video description down below. If you follow the link, do your purchase as normal. Just let them know that I sent you from the channel. Help support out the channel and it costs you nothing out of your pocket other than the cards you're already going to buy. Anyways, thanks for watching and happy Throne of Eldraine.